In today's video, I'm just going to be conducting a quick review and also showing you how to use some basic features of a piece of software called PDF Elements. Now this program comes from the team over at Wondershare who were kind enough to get in touch with me earlier in the week, asking if I would like to test out their program and also provide a bit of honest feedback to my YouTube audience on what this program is capable of doing. So after I jumped on their website and had a bit of a browse through what PDF Element is all about, I was pretty impressed with what I saw. Basically, Wondershare claims that the PDF element is the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, and sign PDF documents for both Windows and Mac users. Now, I would have used Adobe Acrobat for tasks like that in the past, but for those of you that have used Acrobat before, you'll know that it is pretty expensive to have on your machine each year, and it can also be quite complex to use, rather fiddly in places as well. Uh, so the guys at Wondershare have told me that their program, PDF Element, is a hell of a lot cheaper than Adobe Acrobat. It is a lot more user-friendly and possibly contains a little bit more functionality as well. So I was pretty keen to give it a go. So what I did was I hit the blue button here and downloaded myself a free trial and installed it on my computer, ready to test out. And when I opened it up, I was greeted with a screen like this. So basically, to me, this was a bit of a mishmash of Adobe Acrobat and Microsoft Word. So two very powerful programs mixed together. It was a pretty good start. Now in today's video, all I want to show you is some of the basic formatting features that you can use in PDF Element. And also I want to show you one of their very cool features, the OCR system. That's their Optical Character Recognition System. So what that means, what we can do is we can take a scanned PDF document, say a letter, and the computer is going to recognize all the characters in that letter and it's going to convert it into a document that we can fully edit. So let me show you how that works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load up from the home tab here a file on my computer. I've got this scanned file that I found online. It's just an old letter. And basically it's in PDF format and all we can do is read it at the moment. There's nothing else we can do to it, but I want to edit it. I want to be able to change some of the fonts and the colors, insert a new logo and things like that. So when you load it up, you'll see this little blue bar appear at the top. And what you need to press is the perform OCR button. When you press it, this box will come up asking what language we're going to be using. I've chosen English, and I'm just going to click OK. And it's only a matter of seconds before PDF Element recognizes every character on that document and converts it into this, a fully editable document. OK, so I can click on text, delete it, um, modify it, do whatever I need to. So we've gone from this over to this. And I have checked word for word, and the OCR system does get all these words spot on. One of the things that didn't get quite right, which is fully understandable, is the logo at the top. If we go back to the original letter, you can see it was just a weird black circle. Okay, so it went for a, sh um, a letter with the same shape, which is the letter E, but we don't need that. So highlight it, press delete. That's the great thing about this OCR system. You can fully edit your document. So it's an easy job to get rid of that logo at the top and replace it with a new one. So to put a new logo in, all we need to do is go to the Edit tab and choose Add Image, and bring in a logo that is saved on your computer. Okay, so this is the logo I've got saved on my computer. I'm just gonna hold Shift to resize it. And you'll notice that as I pick it up and move it, some blue lines follow my shape, and they're just guides which help you align elements on your page neatly. Okay, so I'll put that up the center there at the top of the page. And if I wanted to, I've got some features down here, like you would see in Microsoft Word, I guess. You can rotate the object, you can flip it horizontally, um, you can do all sorts of things to it. It's up to you how you want your logo to look. Okay, so that's pretty good for me, so I'll leave it just like that. Now something else you can do, um, you don't just have to edit images, you can also edit the text. So I'm going to highlight this heading here and pop over to my Properties panel on the right-hand side. I'm going to change the color of that text to say blue and red to blend in with my logo. Okay, so pretty easy to change the style of your fonts. Coming down the page, let's have a look at the body text here, this main section. What I might do is I might highlight it, and just show you quickly that you can change your font from Times New Roman, which is, a, I guess, a bit of a dated font these days. And I'm going to choose something a bit more modern. Let's choose, I'll say Calibri. That's the default font in Microsoft Word. 
Some other things you can do, change the font size if you want to. Uh, you can play around with the styles there, like your bolds and italics. You've got alignment options here, so you can center it or left or right align it. You've got tracking, line spacing, and also the same features as you had with the image. So you can do some rotations and things like that to it. Uh, but there's no need for that right now. That's how I want it to look, so I will leave it as is. Now looking down the bottom here, this is the signature area. You're probably wondering why the word oil is there. That was the OCR's attempt at recognizing this running writing here, this signature, which says fill. So I've got a couple of letters right, which is a pretty good job. But we're going to delete what's there. We don't want the word oil. We're just going to leave a space for somebody to write their signature in once we print this document out. If, however, you aren't printing your document and you want to use a digital signature, you can also do that in PDF Element. Simply go to the Protect tab at the top and you can sign your document digitally. Okay, so I'm not going to do it in this one, but very easy to use. Um, something else that I want to show you is down the bottom of the page, this footer. It's ugly, it's messy, I don't like it, I want to get rid of it quickly. So all I need to do is, in my Edit tab, hit the Crop option. And I'm simply going to drag up the bottom of my page and crop it out. Gone. Easy as that. If I wanted to add a better looking footer in, I could simply hit the header and footer option at the top here and do so, but I'm not going to worry about that today. Um, one other thing I do want to show you, another feature in this edit tab is the link option. So you can create hyperlinks in your document. Let me show you how. Um, so I'm going to write my own sentence into the body here. It's going to say, click here to go to Google. And the way that I like to create links is simply click that link button there and I'm just going to draw a box over the bits I want to turn into a hyperlink. So the words click here is what I want to turn into a hyperlink. A box will appear asking you what you want your hyperlink to look like. All I want is a blue color and an underline under the words. Okay, I also want to open up a new web page and I just need to write the website address in that I want this hyperlink to go to. So just google.com. And we'll set that link. And you can see now we've got a blue underline under our text. And as we hover over it, you can see the tooltip telling us that it's going to go to google.com. When I click on it, just a warning box says, do you want to follow that link? We'll say yes. It takes us to Google. Okay, so super easy to edit your documents. Okay, I'm not going to show you any more editing for now. Um, so we'll pretend that this document is fully finished. There's a few things we can do with it once we're finished. We can go over to the share tab and share it quite easily via email. We can upload it to Dropbox and Google Drive as well, just with a click of a button. So that's pretty easy to do. Something else we can do with this PDF document once we're finished is we can convert it into a Word document, an Excel document, or a PowerPoint document. And it's just, again, the click of a button. Usually you'd have to go and download another piece of software and pay another company to use those sort of features, but it's all built into PDF elements. So Super handy having that convert option built into the program. Um, that's pretty much all I need to show you for this tutorial. So I'm just going to go over to the file menu here and go to save as. And I'm going to save this into my PDF element folder. And it's done. It's saved as a PDF. I just want to show you if I wanted to save it as another file type, there are options and a lot of them. You can go down the bottom here when saving. And you can save it as things like, as I said before, your Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. But you can also save it as an image file. Lots of different image types there. Um, you can also save it even as a web page or an EPUB file. Okay, so plenty of really good options for saving your documents quite simply and easily. Let me just show you what this looks like opened up in Adobe Acrobat. Okay, this is it here. So you can see this is our finished PDF opened up in another program and it looks fine. So it works across a range of different programs. Okay, that's probably one of the most popular ones, Adobe Acrobat. So looks fine. All right, so that's pretty much the basic features of PDF elements shown to you. If you want to download the free trial, there's plenty more to play with though. Uh, one of the main things that you would like to check out is probably this form tab up the top here. You can create fillable forms super easy in this program. So you've got your things like your text boxes, radio buttons, um, combo boxes and whatnot. Okay, I know from prior experience creating them in Microsoft Word and Adobe Acrobat is very complex. Okay, it's really fiddly and there's a lot of unnecessary clicking and whatnot just to get one made. But 
really easy to make here in PDF Elements. So another really powerful feature of the program. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here. Remember to check the links in the description below. I have a link in there for 60% off if you want to score yourself a bargain for this piece of software. If not, simply go to the website, download a free trial, test it out for yourself, and I can guarantee you're going to be pretty impressed. Overall, I have made the switch over to PDF Element. I will no longer be using Adobe Acrobat while I've got this piece of software on my computer. So all the best with it, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I do.